Welcome to Journal Treasures, my name is Galit and today I wanted to do the May collage tarot reading but <laughs> after almost two hours of filming I found out that I have a technical issues with my camera uh, my autofocus wasn't focusing <laughs> so this will be a very very short video let uh, me just explain to you what I've done and I will show you in the corner uh, a bit of the video so you'll see what I mean. I've already been through uh, April. I went through all my goals and my intentions and everything. I have this little goals which it says read a book which I have. Keep your morning routine, which I've done, still do. It's a bit hard, but I'm still doing it. Upload three times a week, which I haven't, sorry about that. And keep your workout and diet routine, and which I haven't. Entire month of April is just holidays, so I haven't. At the beginning of the month we have the strength, and at the end we have the two wands, which really represent this month and we have these cards as well this is for the start of the month this is for the end of the month and we have this cute little card which says park and abundance which I love that still keeps me hopeful I have this and here I just wrote my intentions that I will learn how to speak Korean. I did study a bit, but not as much as I wanted. Read books, I've read one book, and I will be able to make art and be creative. I'm trying. <laughs> and here I wrote my quarterly goals, which I'm not sharing. So that was April. And this is May. And I really, really love how this turned out. And for the beginning, we have the Three of Cups, which is amazing. And at the end, we have the Star, which is also a great, great ending. Here I just did a little flip out. And it says Freedom and Change. These cards are from Etsy. I will link it down below for you. These cards are the Fountain Tarot. And I also have these cards, which is the universe has your back. And I just printed out and the images that came. And here it says energy flows where my attention goes. I love that. In this side of the paper bag, we have my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. And also, it came out this one. I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. And I have this cute little tag. And here I just journal about the reading, the Three of Cups, which to me always represents celebration and creativity, but it also celebrates collaboration, which I'm not seeing that happening right now. <laughs> I'm too small of a YouTube to be collabing with anyone, but I would love to. And the end of the month, we have the star, which represents uh, purpose, hope, spirituality, of course, but also for me, it's like a laser focusing on something. And I truly hope that's the YouTube. And here we have the freedom, as it said in the description, it encourages us to take control over our lives and live with purpose. And I love that. And, and the change, it's psychic abilities, and it also represents the moon and the feminine energies. And change is coming, but hopefully it's for the better. <laughs> so that's what in here. 
And here we have the tarot that came out for work, health, and moving. And this is the overall month. And again, I will link these cards below. And for me, this tells a story because everything represents work as well. So it kind of tells me a story about uh, the work. So first of all, we have the Two of Cups, which is amazing. Here we have a success after a long battle <laughs> and here we have it represents the moving and work which for me it's a bit of a burnout after everything that will happen but hopefully not a long burnout and the world just for me represent an accomplishment also travel which i can't see that happening and here I have my May goals and again I want to do a few big things as well that's why I think I will have the burnout because I want to do the 10k challenge on May because first for my health and my workout routine but I really want to be moving more I want to read two books <laughs> as usual I want to try and upload three times a week I want to do Fly Lady every day now, for those of you who doesn't know what Fly ID is, Fly ID is a site that I used to do a lot when I was really, really, really sick. I barely could move, I barely could do anything around the house. And I would use the Fly Lady method, which is just uh, looking at your house as zones, as areas, and cleaning by areas, and you have your daily routines. And it slowly built me to move more and because it's like baby steps truly baby steps so slowly I was able to do more and more and more and every time since then when I'm overwhelmed I'm just doing the fly lady I want to lose more weight and I want to try a pain challenge these are my main goals and here <laughs> I just decorated this little tag and put a little tuck spot here and here I have May's intentions which I will be able to focus on my work I will be strong and able to do the 10k challenge I will be able to stay calm through the stress which will be <laughs> I will be able to feed my body and with only what it needs hopefully <laughs> so that is my intentions for me. This is just a May reading. The Two of Cups for me always represents love, <laughs> but it also represents connection, partnerships, and passion. Especially, it's good for your work, but also great in relationships. And for health and work, we have the Six of Wands, which represents uh, success and public recognition. It's a great card both for health and for work. A success in both of them, even little wins like uh, doing a workout uh, tomorrow or eating well, drinking well. So I need these little wins. <laughs> and for work, for me, it also represents progress. The seven of wands, which is coming right after the six, it's for moving and work. And it definitely represents the challenges. I hope that you can see that. Yeah. It definitely represents challenge, but also challenges you get by others on you. It's not challenges that you are making for yourself. It's mostly by others or other things that are happening in your life. For me, it's like packing and moving and everything like that. And I really, really love how this turned out. Again, I'm really, really sorry that this video just a recap, but I hope it did inspire you to start your month uh, with some great intentions that you put yourself and some small or big goals that you want to pursue. And I hope it will help you 
just even create little bits of inspiration for yourself and I really really love this uh, spread and how it turned out I'm really really sorry that I couldn't show you the entire process but I really wanted to still share this spread because first of all I really really love that and all the affirmation that came out are so strong that I truly hope that they inspired you as well and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.